just introduce next uh, Dr. Maya Wu, who is the uh, Secretary of the Education Development Committee in the Lower House of Parliament in Myanmar. Madam Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, I would like to thank the British Council and Ministry of Education and Training of Vietnam to invite, for inviting me to attend this dialogue. Uh, I would like to present here my own view on the real situation of educational reforms and challenges of higher education in Myanmar. The uh, current situation of higher education in Myanmar is uh, clearly stated and educational reforms performed with great effort of every stakeholders and challenges faced within the, the way to the development of higher education in Myanmar are mentioned here. Now, now is the time of emerging changes in all sectors in accord with the political, political change in Myanmar. Among them, educational reforms need much to meet the expectation of the public. When economic reform is, is practically considered, it is noticed that education is the main requirement, as we all know. Therefore, stakeholders and organizations concerned with education are actively participating by giving opinions and suggestions and carrying out activities. Recently, his Excellency, the President, asked to plan and conduct short-term programs that can be done practically and immediately, and long-term programs that need time to accomplish and to take the advice of experts. Moreover, he asked every stakeholder to take part in these programs. In House of Representatives, we call Bidu a Bill Committee submitted a proposal last year, and it was successfully accepted. That proposal was to formulate national education bill for long-term benefit and educational reform, and then to formulate necessary bylaws, rules, and regulations regarding the law for various sectors of education, including higher education. As a result, committees for formulation of national education bill and higher education bill has been formed. Formulation of national education bill has been done to some extent and studies are still being made for formulation of higher education bill. I am uh, secretary of both these committees. In doing so, the following challenges are faced with to implement free compulsory education free compulsory primary education in Myanmar, and reconsideration of grades in basic education, and opportunities for every level for vocational education, upgrading teachers' quality, reform of teaching methods, autonomous universities, and restructuring the higher education institutions, Margin the existing universities and university entrance system. Consider, considering the reconsideration of grades in basic education, experts have supposed to change from current system to KG plus 543. However, it is a challenge to make the public realize the need to do so and transform without causing any disturbance to the teaching learning situation in implementing it. 
Although continuous assessment system has been practiced in Myanmar more than for one decade, teaching method has not been student-centered practically as it was aimed. And so, although basic edu education is completed, quality seems to be not so high. And therefore, an examination at a level is considered, but if it is so, vocational education, which had been conducted before, has to be restarted for dropouts. Sorry. At present, university entrance system is encouraging to get high marks and most of the students want to join popular institutions, popular institutes. So the aim and the result are different. Those who are good at particular subjects may not join the arts and science universities. That is their right place, I think. And most of the students who join institutes to learn particular fields due to the pressure of parents and society may not be interested in those fields. So human resources are not in their right places and there is a waste of human resources. So it is a challenge to consider the best university entrance system. There is a higher impression on the degrees conferred from the institutions than on the degrees conferred from the arts and university, arts and science universities. It makes the situation worse. Now, it is realized that university education inferiority is correlated with autonomy and decentralization. So founding autonomous universities is attempted, but it is another challenge that various barriers have to be overcome to change from rooted centralization system. Although it is true that activities have been done with the aim to obtain equality in higher education access all over the nation, and many universities were founded within the last two decades, equal quality is low due to various requirements, such as insufficiency of qualified teachers, lab equipment and research apparatus, transportation difficulty, etc. At that time, there were no relationship with internal academic communities and no freedom is no freedom in educational cooperation. So there are uh, these are some of the reasons. Now it is a challenge to change these things and to full, fulfill the requirements. At that time, it was considered from the point of view of administration and decided to put universities under 13 different ministries and supervise them separately. And it has been done so. Now it is not easy to form multidisciplinary comprehensive universities consisted of various faculties. However, comprehensive universities and specialized universities have their own strengths and weaknesses. So we need to consider from various points of view. The last challenge is to get and maintain highly qualified human resources sufficiently for autonomous universities to have independent organizations
that can assess the quality of each university, such as financing agency, quality assurance agency, etc., and to improve the relations between ministries that are responsible for education and universities. University teaching staff are government service servants in Myanmar, so their promotions are considered according to time, skills, as other government staff. It is a reason of decrease in efforts of teachers and degrading in quality. It is a substantial matter to make reforms based on the quality and effort. In conclusion, it needs to consider in higher education uh, the following themes. Founding autonomous higher education institution, building academic community that can perform in accord with that autonomy, and being able to relate with international experts and corporate. Uh, that is all of my opinion on the educational reforms and challenges in higher education in Myanmar. Thank you. <laughs>